Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. If you are an iPhone shooter or follow the news in general, you might have heard that in 2020, Apple released the Pro RAW format and there was a ton of hype accompanying its release. I've heard people in forums upgrading to the iPhone Pro model thinking that Pro RAW was the next best thing in photography. But is Pro Raw really worth it? This is what we're going to be finding out in today's video as I'll be giving four reasons to use Pro Raw to shoot your images. However, do take note that this is only the first part. In the second part of this video, I'll be taking the opposite position and giving four reasons for you not to use the iPhone Pro Raw format. So make sure to watch both videos to get an accurate picture of its strengths and weaknesses. But what is the Apple Pro Raw format? The Apple Pro Raw format is an image file format available in iPhone Pro models from iPhone 12 Pro and later. It combines standard RAW with iPhone image processing, and that includes Smart HDR, Deep Fusion, and Night Mode. Unlike standard RAW, it can be generated from multiple exposures, and Apple says it combines the best of both worlds, the image processing of JPEG and the editability of RAW. Apple Pro RAW is lossless compressed. Unlike JPEG, which throws away a lot of information, Pro RAW retains a lot more data, and this allows for greater editing control and latitude which is the purpose of shooting in RAW. So now that we know what Pro RAW is, let's run through the reasons to use it. First is more convenience. iPhone Pro RAW is the only RAW format that is built right into the iPhone camera. There is no need to pay extra to download a separate app. To use it, simply enable it in the settings. Also, because it works with the iPhone camera, you get the benefits of the quick camera access, such as swiping left, touch and hold on the lock screen, and asking Siri to open the camera. Second is its superior dynamic range. Since Pro RAW includes iPhone processing techniques such as Smart HDR, Deep Fusion, and Night Mode, what you get is a ton more detail in shadows and highlights compared to a standard RAW file. Here is a comparison of editing an extremely high contrast scene in both standard RAW and Pro RAW. Notice that you're able to recover significantly more detail in the Pro RAW image compared to the standard RAW image. Here are some other examples. The third reason to shoot with Pro RAW is it's more visually pleasing out of the box. Unlike RAW, which does look like an unprocessed image, the developers of Pro RAW did a good job in making sure the image looks like a JPEG, even though it is unedited out of the camera. Here is an example of a standard RAW unedited image, and here is the Pro RAW unedited image. As you can see, it is a night and day difference. Pro RAW looks great and is ready to be shared, while standard RAW does require editing to make it more presentable. Here are a few other examples of the visually pleasing nature of Pro RAW. The final reason to use Pro RAW is its wide editing compatibility. Unlike other RAW HDR proprietary formats, which require a specific app for editing, Apple Pro RAW is compatible with any RAW editor. Here I am using both Photomator and Affinity Photo to edit the Apple Pro RAW format. 
I experienced zero problems or compatibility issues, which is a fantastic experience for such a new and unconventional format. So there you have it, four reasons to use Apple Pro Raw. However, no image format is perfect and Apple Pro Raw does have some flaws. Do watch out for my upcoming video where I discuss reasons to not use Apple Pro Raw. And if you use Apple Pro Raw, let me know your thoughts on the format. I'd love to hear your opinions. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.